Well, bless the morning, friends, folks. Back at the job, and today is October 18th. Yesterday, I had to take my baby cake to go and get some glasses because hers broke. So, I took the day off and took her day off from school as well. I'm glad that she's going to have new eyeballs. <laughs> So waiting for that prescription, but speaking of prescriptions, there's no prescription like the basic instructions before leaving Earth, the Bible. And today, a prescription from the Word of Life to bring healing to you is 1 Peter 5 and 5. Clothe yourselves with humility toward one another. So be humble. We have a quote from Jonathan Edwards. Nothing sets a person so much out of the devil's reach as humility. Yes, be humble, be meek. Inward, at the heart of the temptation in the Garden of Eden, at the heart of the human rebellion and slithering instigator is a foundation of pride. Many have said that pride is behind every sin. It is pride that tells us to ignore God's will and follow our own. It is pride that tells us to enthrone our pleasures and pursuits within our hearts. <clears throat> And it is pride that places us in a heated competition with every other person on the planet for status, for goods, and for glory. God is sympathetic throughout scripture. He opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble. Proud kings and priests in the Bible found themselves humiliated by God himself. Humble supplicants were lifted up into his presence. And so the principle continues today. God becomes the arch enemy of any who diminish him by magnifying themselves. That's why Peter tells us to put on new clothes. We are to strip ourselves of that fantasy <clears throat> that we are self-made souls and endure ourselves with God's grace. We are to cast out our old clothes like they were last decade's fashions and stuck up on the plain elegance of reality. Our new wardrobe is far more beautiful in its simplicity than was our old wardrobe in its intention grabbing styles. Godliness does not fit in the kingdom of God, and it does not unite us with others. Humility blends it perfectly. Hmm. I never really thought of that. <clears throat> Indeed, the conclusion. Your attitude towards others will largely determine in a practical way how united you are with the body of Christ. Are you often at the center of discord? It is because of a lack of humility. Dress yourself in new clothes. Humility takes a first step, even when it is confronted with the pride of others. When it does, it disarms the proud like nothing else. Prideful people feed off of each other and set up more pride, stir up more pride. The step of humility undermines the whole process. It diffuses the root of our sin and opens a way for the glory of God. It gives us an entirely new look. Wow. You know, pride... I was told it's the first sin because the devil was going to exalt the most high God. That was his plan. And of course, that was a foolish plan. And so he he liked, he looked at himself in the mirror, liked what he saw, and decided that he was going to exalt the most high God. When he looked at himself in the mirror, liked what he saw, because he was the most magnificent angel the Lord had made, he was head of the choir. The Lord struck him down. And then, you know, I, I suppose this is another reason being humble is a great weapon against him and every demon that he has because the Lord was humble and anything that we are of the Lord is always a way to succeed over the devil and then what I had to learn like a knucklehead the hard way too you know be humble to be humiliated I thought I had everything going on I wasn't high high with my job because I work for the city um, I just stopped before Annie left I thought everything was great I got married I married her in 2010 I, was, I finally got a good job. It seemed to me like everything fell into place, and I thought my marriage was so good. With Annie, <laughs> when she left, I was in shock. Why would she leave? But the thing was, I had to be humbled by humiliation because one of my friends, he, uh, he showed up, and he goes, you know what? He goes, Jack, when you came home from work, did you ask her how her day was? Did you check on her? And I thought about that. He goes, was she so tired that she just came home? He goes, this is this is one thing that could have led her to leaving. He, and it, it, it just struck and it hurt, man. Because he goes, I guarantee you that the people that she left you for, I bet they're giving her, they're sh showing her that kind of care, but they're giving her that kind of interest, even though it's artificial. 
man, just burned me up. That was the beginning. But in the sixth year, she came home. Why? Because she was humi she was humbled by humiliation, and me, I just I learned how to be a better man through it all. You know, instead of condemning and pointing a finger and accusing, because trust me, in the six years, she tried to come home, man. She came home for a little bit the third year, and that wasn't working. I wasn't going to stand up to it. I wasn't going to let it go back to the same old, same old, which is what it was. So she went back out with these people. But as time wore on, we both matured. It's not one way street. I'm just as guilty of our marriage going on the, going on the down, descending, so to speak. But it ascended. And it ascended by God, by Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And that's how I know it's real. And I watch her give her heart back. I miss my Annie. She's about in every video that I make because that was that's my wife. That that was my wife. That is my wife. That's why on Facebook I keep it as married. I don't put widowed. But you know, have a humble heart. Love one another. Well, hey, how wonder now? Annie would say we need to love one another. We need. To, what does she say? We need to be more compassionate. We need to be more kind. We need to love one another because that's all that God really wants. So there you go. Be humble. And be blessed, man, because if you're humble, you're, when you talk to someone, you're going to talk in a way that's not going to drive them away, but it's going to draw them in. So be blessed today in your journey.